What's up YouTube, Regitech here, and today we're going to be reviewing and using this TopMate laptop cooling system that has a built-in LCD display. So as you can see right here, here is the laptop cooling system, and it does have a built-in LCD display located on the front, on the bottom of it. And it looks really sleek and really nice, and it also has LEDs for each of the five fans that it has built in. So as you can see right here, we have the box that the cooling system came in. Here's the front of the box. You can see the uh, company's name as well as the type of device it is. It's the C5 version. As you can see on the bottom, it does have five fans. It runs at 2800 RPMs. It has an adjustable height system as well as being suitable for a 9 inch to 17 inch laptop. And it gives you a little bit of information on everything that the LCD part does on this uh, cooling system. So it has the fan accelerator, the fan decelerator, the, gr the gear indicator, which means how fast the fans are spinning uh, by gear level, as well as the fan indicator that the fans are spinning, and the on and off and mode selection buttons. Coming around to the back of the box, you can see the rest of the information and you can see all the positions that you can have this laptop cooling stand in as well as the different modes, meaning the modes that this laptop fan system has is you can have all the fans turned off, that's in the off mode, you can turn it on and all the fans will be spinning and all the LEDs will be on. But then you can hold the power button and you can have each, you can have all four of the outer fans turned off with the LEDs turned off as well and just have the middle fan spinning or you can press the power button and hold it again and you can have all the outer fan spinning and the center fan not spinning and not on or you can press it one more time and have everything spinning again for the maximum cooling. Here you can see all the information that they do give you on how to use the different systems that's also located in the manual that's included in the box. But it gives you the product specifications on what it's made with and the dimensions and about the maximum airflow and things like that as well as the USB charging ports and the ports that are available on the device itself. So without further ado, let's go ahead and take a look at the device and see what everything is about. Alright you guys, so let's go ahead and take a look at all the physical attributes of this device before powering it up and seeing how everything looks. So as you can see, it has a very nice design. It's nice and stylish and very unique. Now you can see that it does have pegs right here or indents in the plastic. That's to hold the laptop's, the laptop's physical pegs in place while it's here. So the laptop won't be shifting from side to side. It also has a, um, a flap right here that comes up that holds the laptop in the perfect position so that the airflow will properly meet the bottom of the laptop and dissipate all that hot air that's coming out of the laptop or the heat that's coming off the laptop. Uh, looking at the mesh that you have right here, as you guys can hear as I tap it, it is a fully metal mesh, which means it will dissipate all the heat properly and effectively. Uh, it kind of works as a heat sink in a sense. So looking underneath the mesh, you can see that it has five fans. It has four smaller fans on the outer edges and one big fan on the center. All the fans blades are clear to act as a diffuser for the LED that is on each of the fans. So you will see the LED lights from each of the fans. Coming up to the top, you can see that there is a little board up there and that board has two USB ports and that's just for the power as well as acting as an extra USB port for your laptop because you are using a USB to connect this to your laptop to power it up. Down here you will see two sets of diffusers and that's just to dissipate the light that comes out of the bottom edge. Down at the bottom, you will see that LCD display as well as the accelerator, decelerator, power, and mode buttons. Now, when we turn this on, you'll see exactly how everything looks down here and works. Coming around to the side of the device, you can see that you can open this up all the way and you can close it down flat. And once it's closed flat, you can see everything like that. You can see the two USB ports up here at the top. On the sides, there's nothing really much going on. But coming down to the bottom, you can see the backs of the fans and how all the heat goes in. And 
the design also includes four felt pads down at the bottom so that it won't scratch your table and it won't damage the table as well, as well as uh, helping reduce all the vibrations and noise that may come from using the fans. These fans are running at 2800 RPM, so that's pretty fast, and that could work up some a good amount of vibrations. This laptop stand also has the height positions that you can use it at. You can use it flat, or you can go ahead and pull down the adjuster that they have, have it sitting up at the tallest position, that's how it looks. Coming over to the medium position that they also have, it goes down like that, just a little bit more down. Then you have a smaller position that you can bring it down to. And this is all basically based on what the user likes and how the user likes to look at their laptop and play video games on it. And there's one more slot that you can go ahead and put it down to. And that's the lowest slot before actually making it flat. So it all depends on the user and how the user is playing their games or using their laptop for them to have the perfect viewing angle while using this cooling stand. All right, you guys, so let's go ahead and power this thing up and see how everything works. I'm going to be using my gaming laptop, which is the Samsung Odyssey Storm White Edition, to power it up and to test everything out. So included in this box, you will also get the USB cable. It's USB to USB. And that's just, you just put the USB cable into either one of these ports up at the top here. It doesn't matter which one because they're both for the same purpose. It's just that one is being used for the power and the other one's being used to use another USB device as you're going to be taking up one USB port on your laptop. So once you plug it in, it will automatically turn on. And once it's turned on, the default set function that it's on, the gear, is U3. And that's just the third gear. It's basically half of the top speed and, you know, half of the lower speed. As you guys can also see, to save a little bit of energy or power, the, L the LCD uh, display right here does turn the backlight off when it's not being used directly. So... There's the lights. I'll turn off my light over here so you guys can see just how bright these LEDs are. So those LEDs do make a really nice uh, blue backlight display. I wish it was red because then it would go along with my Samsung Odyssey's uh, color scheme. But nonetheless, it's a very nice and doing that just made my laptop go to sleep. So we're going to just power that back up. and. As you can see, this is how the fan looks without the laptop on it. You can use all the gears, so I'm going to put it down to gear 1, and then we'll move up from there so you guys can either hear how loud or how quiet the fans get. And just remember, they are running at 2800 RPMs, so it does kind of make a little bit of noise, but nothing too much to disturb you from your games or to be too distracting. And you guys can also see, as you do put the gear down, the LEDs do dim. So that's it at its lowest uh, speed. As we bring it up higher, that's on the second gear. This is it on its third gear. It's on its fourth gear. On the fifth gear. and on the sixth gear, which is the highest gear, and this will create the most airflow if you're hardcore gaming or if you're watching movies or doing a lot of downloading. And this will work very effectively. Now, we're gonna go ahead and take a look at the modes that this also has. Uh, so I did tell you and mentioned before that it does have a couple of modes that you can configure the fans for. So, that's to power it off. And as you guys have seen, once you power it back on, it's on U3. If I hold the power button or mode button for two seconds, it will change the mode. So holding it for two seconds, the first uh, mode that it goes into is turning off the outer four fans and just leaving the center one on. And with the center one on, you can always just bring up that gear depending on how fast you want it. Then we can go ahead and hold the same mode button again and it will turn off the center fan and turn on the four outer fans. Now this is all up to the user's preference and how their user's laptop is made up 
if they really want to focus on the corners that maybe the peripherals are on or just the air vents on the laptop. And that's all up to the user and how much maybe noise that they want to hear or where they want the dissipation of the heat going to the most. But we're going to go ahead and hold it one more time and everything will turn back on. So now we can go ahead and put the laptop on it just to see how everything fits. This laptop is 15.6 inches and I'd say that this laptop fits really well on this laptop stand and everything lines up really well. As you can see the laptop does kind of hang off the edges so I don't really know how it will work out with having a 17 inch laptop on there but we'll test that out and check out how it works. So I'm just going to take you guys on a little tour around it to just to see how everything fits and looks. So coming out the bottom you can see that it does have all the LEDs, the LED lights showing down the bottom. You can see where the laptop's uh, little pegs fit on this cooling stand. And this is right now on the, uh, on the second to lowest level of height for this laptop stand. So it gives you a pretty great viewing angle. Alright, so now I'm going to go ahead and take off this 15.6 inch laptop and I'm going to try it out with the 17 inch laptop just to see how the fit works. I'm not going to unpower it from this because I'm not going to power on the 17 inch laptop. Alright, so here's the 17 inch laptop that I have. And I have just put it on the cooling stand. And as you can hear, just because everything is sitting more flat and this is a heavier laptop, the sound has reduced a little bit. And it's on the highest setting once again, and that's just because now it's sitting more firmly to the desk. Um, so as you guys can see, it does fit pretty well. All the pegs do line up once again, and that's a really great thing that I didn't expect, but it does work out. So let's take a look at how this laptop looks around the edges. So as you can see, the laptop's peg is right here in the corner and it does match up with one of those slots that are there and the laptop it does go out a little bit more than the 15.6 inch because it is bigger but everything pretty much lines up pretty well and looks pretty nice while it's on there while using this fan you will also notice that you will get a lot of airflow coming out of the top of your laptop depending on how the vents are placed on the bottom you will start to feel that there is nice cold air coming out of the uh, out of the keyboard which helps when you're playing games and stuff like that it really does cool down the laptop especially if it's aluminum aluminum does tend to get hotter depending on how much you're using your laptop so like this one it would get really cool although this has cool sense technology built into the laptop already so you guys, all in all, I really do like this cooling stand. I think it's a great cooling stand and I love that it has blue LEDs. Although if it had red LEDs, it would look pretty badass. The blue LEDs do really go well with everything else. It Blue goes well with white and it just looks really nice, this laptop cooling stand. And I think that this is a great laptop cooling stand and I will be leaving a link to it in the description box below. It's really affordable, it's not expensive, but it's made of really good materials. The fans that are built in are really good. They're pretty quiet fans. They're not as loud as a lot of other cooling stands that I've used before. All right, you guys, that's about it for the review on the Top Mate notebook cooler with an LCD display. If you guys like this product and want to check it out, I'm going to be leaving a link to it in the description box below. And if you guys liked this video and enjoyed it, go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button down below. And don't forget to follow Regitech on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. If you guys have any questions or comments, go ahead and drop them in the comments section below. And I'll be quick to answer all your questions or comments on the product. Thank you guys, and I'll see you next time.